Hey, it's Tracy. I am sharing this spring happy Easter cute, sweet, fun wreath with you today. This one is packed full of ribbons and mesh using six different meshes as well as eight different ribbons. Let me show you how I put it together. The wreath form is a after Christmas find that I got, I think like 90% off at Hobby Lobby. It's going to be great for the spring. And the mesh is a 21 inch Easter mesh. I got this at Hobby Lobby as well. And so it's going to be really pretty for the base of my wreath. So I'm going to gather it on the ends, just kind of scrunching it together. And then I'm going to put it in one of the ties and I will just twist it once so that it holds it together. I don't want to twist it too many times because I'm going to be untwisting them to put my other mesh as well as my ribbons in there. So you just really need something that's just going to hold it. So I do get asked uh, quite a bit, how big are my poofs? And my poofs are around 10 to 12 inches. It really depends on how big my work wreath form is. And also if I have a whole roll of the mesh and I wanna use up the whole roll of mesh, but I will keep them around 10 to 12 inches on each of the poofs. So I'm just going to work on the inner circle and just make the poofs as I go around. And then I will move to the outer circle, continuing to make those poofs all the way around the wreath. These are the 10 inch mesh that I'm going to use. I use the pink with the jute and the turquoise in every single tie. And then I alternated the green, the yellow and the pink. What I mean by that is in every single tie, I use this pink with the jute and I use that turquoise and I cut 10 inch pieces and I'm using a ruffle technique by laying it out flat, gathering it in the middle where it looks like a ruffle. And then I'm just going to crisscross them making a plus sign. And then I will take this one, I'm using the green, and I'm gonna roll it up into a tube or a spiral, and then just kind of catty corner that where it kind of lays on top of each other. And then opening up that tie, I will stick it in the tie. This one is the green. The next one I would have done the pink, the turquoise, and a yellow. And then the third one, I would have done the, the darker pink with the jute and the turquoise and then the lighter pink on top. So every single tie has either a yellow tube, a pink tube, or a green tube. This wreath has a lot of ribbon in it only because I couldn't decide what ribbons I wanted to use. And then I said, you know what? I will just alternate them in between those meshes. So this is what I did. I used these three together and I cut these ribbons at 10 inches each so that it would be really full. The pink and white polka dot is from Sam's Club. I got that several years ago. The striped is from Craft Outlet and that pink was from the Dollar Tree. Now this is the second set uh, combination. I uh, love that chevron. I got that from Craft Outlet. And then the Easter eggs is from the Dollar Tree. And then that pink and white checkered or gingham, I guess it's more checkered, uh, got from Michaels. And I cut them about mm, 10 inches, I guess. And I used my pinking shears on the edge of that five and a half one so that it would give a decorative edge. The other two ribbons that I used uh, were these two. It was a blue and white I got from... The Dollar Tree and that pink and white chevron is from Hobby Lobby and I cut those at 10 inches and then I just dovetail the ends of those so that it would give that decorative edge. 
Now all of my wreaths, I love to put some kind of centerpiece or a sign. So I have this little thin little board that was already painted yellow and I just checkerboarded the ends with my paintbrush. And then now I'm going to paint Happy Easter and decorate that up and I will show you the entire wreath at the end. I also added more doodling to the signs. I love, love, love to do that by just shading and just getting my black Sharpie marker and all of that fun stuff. I also put a cute little bunny. Those bunnies I got at Hobby Lobby. You can get them. They have a jute little hanger. I cut that hanger off and I just glued it to my sign to really bring this wreath together. So I hope that you've enjoyed my Happy Easter wreath that I put together with you today. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear what you have to say about this bunches of ribbon and mesh wreath and I appreciate you all so much. Y'all make me feel so good um, with all of your comments and your support and we'll talk to you soon and God bless.